In this video, we will see how to prepare financial statements from adjusted trial balance. An adjusted trial balance is a list of all the balances of ledger accounts after the preparation of adjusting entries. It ensures the arithmetic accuracy after making the adjustment entries in the records. It contains balances of revenues and expenses along with those of assets, liabilities, and equity. As an adjusted trial balance contains all data needed for financial statements, the adjusted trial balance is the primary basis for the preparation of financial statements. The financial statements comprise the income statement, owner's equity statement, balance sheet, and statement of cash flows. The preparation of the income statement is the first step in preparing the financial statements. It is prepared to determine the net income of a company in a period. To prepare an income statement, all incomes and expenses accounts are considered. The statement of owner's equity is prepared to find out the closing balance of the owner's equity. It is prepared by using the owner's capital and drawings accounts and the net income or net loss from the income statement. The balance sheet is prepared to know the financial position of a company. It is prepared from the asset and liability accounts and the ending owner's capital balance as reported in the owner's equity statement. A statement of cash flows summarizes information about the cash inflows or receipts and outflows or payments for a specific period of time. Let's look at an illustration to see how to prepare financial statements from adjusted trial balance. The adjusted trial balance of Trillia Company is provided. We will prepare the income statement, statement of owner's equity, and balance sheet as of August 31st. Let's first prepare the income statement. The first step in preparing any statement is to record the three title lines, the name of the company, the title of the statement, and the accounting period. The two sections of an income statement are revenues and expenses. Under revenues, we have service revenue of $34,000 and rent revenue of $12,900. By adding $34,000 and $12,900, we compute the total revenue as $46,900. Under Expenses, we list Salaries and Wages Expense of $16,200, Rent Expense of $13,000, Insurance Expense of $1,500, Supplies Expense of $1,300, and Depreciation Expense of $500. By adding all expenses, we compute the total expenses as $32,500. By deducting the total expenses from the total revenues, we arrive at net income of $14,400. Next, we prepare the Statement of Owner's Equity for the year ended August 31st, Year 2. First, we list the three title lines, the name of the company, the title of the statement, and the accounting period. Next, we list the line items. First, we list the beginning owner's capital, which is $16,000. To this, we add net income of $14,400, which was calculated while preparing the income statement. Thus, by adding $16,000 and $14,400, we arrive at the ending owner's capital of $30,400. This amount of ending owner's capital will be transferred to the liabilities and owner's equity section of the balance sheet. Finally, we prepare the balance sheet for the year ended August 31st, Year 2. Similar to all other financial statements, we first list the three title lines. A balance sheet is classified into two major sections, assets and liabilities and owner's equity. Let's first record the assets section. Under assets, we have cash of $11,000, accounts receivable of $12,500, supplies of $1,200, prepaid insurance of $3,000, equipment of $15,000, and accumulated depreciation of $4,000. Note that accumulated depreciation is a contra-asset account and reduces the asset balance. By adding all assets, we determine the total assets of the company to be $38,700. Next, we record the liabilities in owner's equity section. Under liabilities, we have accounts payable of $6,000, salaries and wages payable of $1,200, and unearned rent revenue of $1,100. By adding all liabilities, we determine the total liabilities to be $8,300.
Under Owner's Equity, we list Owner's Capital of $30,400. By adding total liabilities of $8,300 and Owner's Equity of $30,400, we determine the total liabilities and Owner's Equity to be $38,700. Note that the total of assets equals the total of liabilities and Owner's Equity, ensuring the correctness of the balance sheet.